In terms of track cycling, this is relatively new discipline, only being introduced in 1996. And back then, it was in fact called the Olympic Sprint. Now, in the men's competition, there are teams of three riders who complete three laps of the track, whilst in the women's event, there are two riders that complete two laps of the track. Now, each rider has to complete a full lap of the track on the front before swinging off, leaving the final rider to do the last lap on their own. And it's the fastest team that wins. The qualifying round will see the teams on the track by themselves racing solely against the clock in order to qualify for the knockout stages. Now the teams that reach the knockout stage will then be racing against other teams on the track. As we see here, this red line here is known as the pursuit line, so the teams will start on opposite sides of the track and the fastest team basically wins. It's knockout all the way through to the final, where there'll be a big match, of course, for the gold and silver medal. And there's also another race for the bronze medal too. In the case of a tie in this event, and this is down to the 1,000th of a second, the team with the fastest time over the last lap will be declared the winner. Although this is a discipline that suits the pure sprinters, there's a real endurance element to this event as well. Because remember, the final rider in the line has to ride 750 meters of the track and has got to hang on to the coattails of the other riders before unleashing their own sprints. Now, as a consequence, the type of riders that make up this event are generally riders who are very good at the 200 meter sprint and also riders who are extremely fast over a kilo, with the fastest rider over a kilo often being the last rider in the team. The key here is to stay as close as is physically possible to the rider in front to get in their slipstream and to save valuable energy. Now we often see in this particular event, riders dropped from the team very early in the event because of the stinging accelerations from the off. Now you may be the strongest rider in your team, if you drop the rest of your team, it's game over. The current Olympic champions for the women are Germany and the men's is Great Britain, whilst the world record for the women's is held by China with a time of 32.422 seconds and Germany holds the men's world record with 41.877 seconds. Now, the speeds I hear you ask, well that's 55.5 kilometers an hour for the women and an eye-watering 64.4 kilometers an hour for the men. Now the favorites this time round will be Australia, Germany, France and Great Britain. Now the riders in the team sprint will be kicking out some enormous wattages. Now to find your maximum sprint power, how about clicking just down here? And for our latest GCN show, click just down here. And to subscribe to GCN, it's free, cost you no money at all, click on the globe. Don't forget to like and share this video as well.